Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm back here with one more video. So in this video, I'm going to do a simple stuff, which is to install IntelliJ. So I'm going to follow four steps here. One, download IntelliJ. Two, install IntelliJ. Three, create a simple Spring Boot project. Four, run it. So these are the four steps that uh, maybe uh, will show you how you can work with IntelliJ if you are migrating from some another IDE, let's say Eclipse. Right. So it will be really helpful for you if you are working on a Spring Boot application or any web application. So it will be really helpful for you. So watch it till the end. But before we work on that, if you are new to my channel, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. Uh, there is an easy and quick step that you just have to hit the red colored subscribe button. And that's all I need from you. So now let's see what we have to do. All right. Uh, so what? I have done is just simple search uh, IntelliJ and there you can see that there is a download page on their official website. So once you go there, there is a bit of confusion that there are two versions, Ultimate and Community. And this is not specifically for Windows, Mac OS and Linux also have these two options. So what are they? Uh, Ultimate is a paid version. Community is a free version. So Ultimate is paid because they provide a lot of features which are not in community as you can see here so spring spring boot uh, java ee all of them are not available by default in uh, community version so uh, if you are a fresher if you are a, a beginner in java uh, i would not recommend you to buy a paid version i i would recommend uh, downloading a free version which i'm going to do now because i'm also a free user so i i don't uh, buy paid versions so I will let this one download and then I will come back all right so there you go uh, we have this installer now so um, there are not many customization that we have to do so here you see that they are asking about view association and shortcut kind of thing which uh, can be um, chosen according to your um, requirements so I don't have a particular agenda here. So I'm going to just do a default installation. So let's, um, so I will wait for it to be done. So then uh, we'll open IntelliJ. All right, so the installation is done. Now let's run this. So I'll just confirm this, continue. So coming from Eclipse background, this seems pretty cool. Um, like till now the installation experience was very, very awesome. And this uh, is really something else. And by default, you get a black theme. So this is also good for your eyes. So yeah, great. So now what we have to do is I can create a new project, but um, as I said before, community edition doesn't comes with spring spring boot uh, plugins right so if you have watched a uh, few videos on youtube you will see uh, a lot of videos specifically on the ultimate version the paid paid version of intellij or uh, if you have watched the free version videos you might have seen uh, that people are installing plugins uh, to run a spring boot application but we are not going to do that there is a simple way. Uh, if you go to start.spring.io, I think uh, if you are a Spring Boot uh, user, you might have already gone through this website one or more times. So here I'm going to create a simple project. So I will use Java 8 here. And then I will use dependency Spring Web. And let's do Spring Boot Actuator. So this is a simple one. Uh, you can remove this dependency for now, right? So it is just a demo, but I'm, I'm in habit of using this. So let's just generate this. Now let's import this. So I have already extracted the zip file. So you can see here three options. You don't have to do new project here. You have to do open. Then you have to go to the specific path from where you uh, like uh, where you have downloaded so mine is this one so i will go there demo 
so um, depending on uh, the dependencies which it has to download it will take uh, specific time to do that if you uh, have good internet that then it will not take much time it will be done sooner so here you can see that for me everything is done so i don't have anything otherwise uh, you will see something here if it is doing something so uh, this is the main application demo application through which we run spring boot and if you have a specific port on which you want to run you can do that i don't need this one so i'll just remove this so that was just for demo but other than that you are good to run this so let's run this so here you can see that it is right now building and it is starting the application here alright so here you can see that the application has been started on port 8080 and this much time has been taken to run this and as you can see that there is no need for any plugin uh, so when we buy the paid version of IntelliJ we don't have to go to start.spring.io we see that option here only in this uh, IntelliJ window to create that project right so that's a very good feature but for us uh, we have downloaded this and it's not a big burden because uh, when you create a new project you always create once then you do all of your stuff whatever you want to do on that project itself so there is no need for going to towards this website more times so you will just do it once and that's it right so it's not a pain uh, when you are using a free version and you have to go to this website it doesn't hurt much right so let's do a simple test also let's see if it is working fine so as you can see it is working fine so there is no need uh, right now to install any plugin and um, if you are a professional or an expert then I would recommend you to buy a paid version because it saves some time you don't have to go to this window often and it's obvious that uh, in which in whichever application you are working if you get all the features there you don't have to navigate to other windows and that's always uh, less time consuming right so this is it for this video if you have any questions if you don't see any step that i have shown here not working for you let me know in the comment section i'm always here for you and for now um I think this is it for this video. I will meet you in the next one. Till then, have a good day, stay safe and bye-bye.